example x squared minus 2x minus 7 over x squared uh, minus 9 plus 3x plus 1 over x squared minus 9. So, in this example, expect that we will be having our factoring. So, obviously, our denominators are common. So, copy the denominators, x squared minus 9. Then, add the numerators, x squared minus 2x minus 7 plus 3x plus 1. Then, arrange this so we can properly add. So, in arranging, combine like terms in the numerator. So, therefore, x squared 2x together with 2x is plus 3x, then minus 7 plus 1 over x squared minus 9. So, in combining like terms, just only combine with those same terms together combine all those together with x x combine all those without terms or numbers only so simplify so it will become x squared 2x negative, negative 2x plus 3x will give you positive x so remember um, different sign or unlike sign subtract and then copy the sign of the greater um, absolute value so since 3 is bigger than 2 so copy the sign of 3 so positive we will not anymore place 1 because it, all, it is already understood that it is 1 then negative 7 plus 1 so the same um, seven, uh, negative 7 plus 1 will give you negative 6 why? different sign negative positive so therefore subtract so copy the sign of the biggest or the biggest greater um, absolute value so 7 is bigger than 1 so copy the sign of 7 which is negative over x squared minus 9 so this is not yet the answer because um, we in this time it's very obvious that in this form they are need to be factored so therefore let us factor first the numerator x squared plus x minus 6 so we will be using the process of factoring trinomial y it has three terms, the one, two, three. So, um, if you forget the process on factoring trinomial, you can check the previous videos uh, from the channel to review the process. So, first is to um, factor the first term, which is x times x will give you x squared. And factor also the last term. So, what are those numbers? If you will multiply, will give you negative six. So, the common are um, three, times 2. Since it is negative, it should be positive and negative. You can also do uh, the other way around, provided um, it should be, it should coincide with our middle term, which is positive x. So next, cross multiply. x times positive 3 will give you positive 3. Next, x times negative 2 will give you negative 2x. Next, what? what's the process so in this portion we will already add so remember in adding integers if different sign or unlike sign you will subtract so therefore 3 minus negative 2 3 minus 2 will give you 1 then copy the term x or we can just do away with 1 so just simply x so positive x so this x coincides with our middle term so therefore our factor for this trinomial will be x plus 3 just combine x plus 3 together with x minus 2 so that's the answer so copy x plus 3 then x minus 2 just copy now do the denominator factor it it's it is obviously that um, it is x squared minus 9 is a um, square perfect square binomial factoring why binomial two terms why it is perfect square 9 is a perfect square so factor 2 simply x times x squared so how about um, 9 simply um, 3 times 3 since it is negative, one will be positive and the other one will be negative. So, simply, this is our answer. X plus 3 and X minus 3. So, 
copy x plus 3 then x minus 3 this is not yet the answer because obviously there are common factors that we need to cancel out so simplify in order to simplify cancel the common factors from your denominator and numerator so it's very obvious x plus 3 cancel it with x plus 3 so the answer will be x minus 2 over x minus 3 so number 5 will be w squared plus 3w plus 2 all over 3 squared minus 2w plus 1 minus with 3w plus 3 over 3w squared minus 2w plus 1 so see it is very obvious that our denominator um, is common so therefore copy w squared minus 2w plus 1 next let us now combine so W combine the numerators W squared plus 3W plus 2 but take note um, this is um, subtraction subtraction so therefore minus distinct the other numerator 3W plus 3 so always take note if we are dealing with subtraction we really need to do the process of parenthesis the other numerator to distinct it from the other be careful with the signs Next, simplify. W squared plus 3W plus 2. Distribute now this negative with the numbers inside. Just simply multiply it. It is um, just a representative of 1, negative 1. So just multiply negative times 3W as if negative 1 times 3W will give you negative 3W. Take note again, it is multiplying negative 1 with the numbers inside so negative multiply it with 3w will give you negative 3w then negative times um, positive 3 will give you negative 3 again if we are dealing with subtraction we need to take note of the signs be careful with the sign and distribute the negative inside by multiplying it as if you are multiplying negative 1. Negative 1 times positive 3W. Negative 1 times positive 3. That's the process. Now, copy the denominator W squared minus 2W plus 1. So this time, we are to simplify already by combining like terms. So, W squared, there is no other W squared. Plus 3W together with negative 3W numbers plus 2 negative 3 copy minus 2w is 1 now let us reduce them w squared since positive 3w and negative 3w cancel out so it will become plus 0 nothing then since it is positive and the other one is negative subtract different sign or unlike sign subtract so 2 minus 3 will give you 1 so copy the sign of the biggest number or biggest absolute value of integer so it's very obvious that 3 is bigger than 2 so copy the sign of 3 which is negative so therefore if we will simplify this copy the denominator so, so simplify it. w squared minus 1 all over w squared to the value plus 1 this is not yet the answer because we are two factor our numerator and denominator it is very obvious that our numerator is a perfect square binomial perfect square binomial so therefore w squared minus one so factor w times w w squared then the multiples of one one times one since it is negative it should be positive and negative the answer will be w plus 1 open cross parenthesis w minus 1 that's simple next our denominator our denominator is a trinomial so w squared minus 2w plus 1 trinomial 
so factor W times W then your 1, 1 times 1 since it is positive, it can be positive, we can place positive we can also place negative times negative negative times negative will give you positive cross multiply W times negative 1, simply negative W, it's already understood that it is 1 W times negative 1 will give you the same negative 1, add since they are like sign or same sign, add so therefore W plus W will give you 2W Copy the sign, negative W. It is very obvious that our answer here is consistent with our middle term. So therefore, our factor will be W1, just combine, and W minus 1, combine. So therefore, we can already reduce them. Divide, the common, uh, divide out the common factor. So, you can cancel this, cancel this. So, these are the remaining. Final answer will be W plus 1 all over W minus 1. It's how simple it is.